What's up guys, it's Dan from Underground, and today I'm going to go over how to change your keybinds on the console port add-on, whether you're on a Steam Deck or any other type of handheld device, and not have it affect your keybinds on your PC as you see here. It's super easy to do that, and let's just go ahead and dive right into it. The very first thing, and a very important thing that you need to have set up, you can set this up either on the deck or on your PC, it's up to you, it doesn't matter. But you just want to make sure that you have a layout using the edit mode, the HUD layout edit mode. You have a layout for your PC and a layout for your Steam Deck. That's very important. And this will be the only setting that you change when you jump from your PC to your deck at any time after the initial setup is complete. Okay. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump onto the deck and I will show you how to change your keybinds without messing anything up. All right, so here we are, we're on the Steam Deck, as you can see. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna hit start button. You're gonna wanna go down to edit mode, click on that. And using the directional pad for this can be a challenge. So I usually just use my, <clears throat> use the trackpad for this. But you're gonna wanna select Steam Deck, and then you can close out of that. And as you can see, my unit frames has moved up to more center screen, and not hiding behind the uh, console port uh, ability bar. And that's it, that's the only setting that you have to change. So, let's get into how to actually change your keybinds without messing it up on your PC. So you, the first thing you wanna do, if you just installed console port, is you're gonna wanna hit your start button, and then you're going to want to click A on the um, on the console port options, which is the cluster of buttons at the top. <clears throat> From there, you're going to want to go, if it's the first time, you're going to want to make sure that you go down to the bottom and you go to device. And then you want to make sure that Steam Deck is selected or if you're using a PlayStation 5 controller or an Xbox controller or anything like that, you want to make sure that the correct one is selected okay that's the very first thing and the most important thing <clears throat> from there you're gonna want to go back to options go to bindings go over here to center and go to action bars and as you can see these are my action bars from my PC now this bar here would be the small bar on uh, on the top section on the PC and as you can see there is no key binds on it so most people what they do is they would click the ability if I can do it and they would click it and drag it and place it in this and that will move that ability on your PC and mess up your bars so you do not want to do that instead what you want to do and I'll just wait for the, uh, <laughs> I used the trackpad as the mouse, which was a problem, so I'll just exit out of this and restart. Since I know you guys can't see the mouse cursor. So here we are. Okay, so what we want to do, so we want to make these ones um, like buttons that we can push, right? So we're going to select Death and Decay here. We're going to press A, and then I'm going to push left on the D-pad for that. I'm gonna do mine freeze. I'm gonna do right on the D-pad, same thing. A, and then I'm gonna do down for blinding sleep. And then I'm gonna do, or maybe I'll do up for that one. Click on it, click A to choose, click up. There we go. This one we'll do is down. And so on and so forth, right? And so that is how you would change press save you would change it as you can see there mind freeze is there death and decay is there and that is all good but what we didn't do is we didn't move the ability from this action bar and when you move that ability from the action bar that is when it's gonna make changes on your PC that when you go back to your PC your bars are gonna be totally messed up so 
very simple, but you, what to do, you just click A on it and then you would click whatever button that you want that one to be. So I just made it right on the D-pad. We'll make this one right. <clears throat> and that's it. That's, that's how you do it. So it takes a little bit to go through and kind of select it. But this will be where it's very important if you have a lot of alts and things like that, which I do. Uh, it's very important to make sure that all of your general abilities are on the same action bar and are the same keybind. So my interrupts are always on this action bar in this slot <clears throat> on all my characters. My mobility is always in the same spot and so on and so forth, right? And that way, once you change it on one character on the deck, it'll stay the same on the PC and then it'll kind of become muscle memory no matter what character you're playing on, right? And you can make minor adjustments depending to like some classes like Enhancement Shaman have a ton more abilities and you, you would have like this whole section would be filled up with abilities, right? So you are limited to the amount of keybinds that you can have on console port, but for most classes, the general the general amount is enough to play the game just fine. I'm not saying you're gonna do any super high content, but some people have. Um, but yeah, I just use mine for farming old mounts and transmog and stuff. So that's how you do it. So another little piece of information for you, this bar at the top here, this is the Blizzard art bar, your action bar one on the default uh, UI in World of Warcraft on the PC. So I don't use any action bar add-ons and I don't use like LVI or anything like that. So for me, I have to use this action bar because you can't hide it or get rid of it or anything like that with the default UI, which is fine though, because I always put my main rotation in these like four or five uh, buttons here, right? Along this, this front section. And these ones will always be X, Y, B, R, B, L, B, and so on, right? So it's kind of making it easier already for me to transfer from the deck to the PC. However, if you use an add-on like LVOI or an action bar add-on, um, it's very simple to change the keybind like I just showed you, right? So super easy to do. Just remember, don't move the actual ability to a new slot. If you do that, very bad. You just want to change the actual button assigned to that ability on the deck like I showed you. And that's all there is to it, guys. It's that simple. So hopefully this helps. And if you have any questions or whatever, please comment down below. So we're going to jump over to the PC now, and I will show you that nothing was, uh, was messed up. All right, guys, so here we are. We are back on the PC. And as you can see, uh, all the keybinds and the abilities and everything like that is in the same place. The only thing we have to do is go to edit mode, change from the Steam Deck one, change back to the PC one, and that's it. And we are good to go. Everything is the same. No issues there. So I hope that this makes sense for you and that you too can play on both your PC and your Steam Deck without any issues and not have to re rechange and redo your action bars every time you go from one to the other because that is a pain so thank you for watching i'll see you all in the next video